Hey, where's all the fish at? Well, I mean, I know they're in the I know they're in the water, but your dad caught them all. Yeah. Well, supposedly I didn't get any fish at that last spot because that little kid's dad caught them all. Showtime. Whenever the seatbelt sign is off, please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. What's up YouTube, friends and fam? As you can see with all this sunshine and these uh, palm trees back here, I am no longer in the Northwest. We are in Southern Florida with the family. We're gonna be here for two weeks. And you know on my vacation, I'm gonna be filming. I love filming YouTube and editing episodes, editing episodes for you guys. So, man, that is a loud bird. But anyway, yeah, we're here for two weeks. We're gonna be chasing all kinds of different species. I'm gonna be going after stuff I've not caught myself. Um, and so I think there's going to be a little bit for everybody to, in the next two weeks. You know, there's a big bass pond back here, just right behind the house. Monster bass back there. You know, you guys have seen an episode on the bite of Sage catching a monster bass out of the uh, backyard pond. So we're going to be hitting that quite often. I mean, it's literally 20 feet, 30 feet from the house. There's all kinds of fish action going on. It's like an aquarium back there. There's bass, bluegill, crappie, um, tilapia, uh, all kinds of species. I don't even know if I've caught them all out of there. So yeah, I mean, all I can say is sit back, relax, and uh, get ready for an adventure. Hello. So, I got a little bit of time to kill today, so I thought what better Thing to do than to go cast out the pond. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna walk around the pond a little bit, see what I can't see, and uh, take a couple casts. I got this. Uh, I got this Nico Helgramite, just on a little eighth ounce jig head, and I've caught some huge bass in here. I mean, you've seen the episode of Sage catching his big old bass out of here. I've caught a couple big ones out of here. So there's big fish in here. Um, I've seen a couple fish, but they were smaller bass. Um, but I know there's big ones in here, so we're gonna walk around this pond. It's a pretty good sized pond We're gonna walk around the pond and see what we can't get into Looking for uh, his big uh, auntie or uncle. But a little tiny bass right there on the Helgramite. Let's get a bigger one than that. You guys are probably watching this right now and you're like, he's in South Florida right now and he's wearing pants? What's going on with that? Yeah, it's not by choice. I uh, packed all my stuff, including all my fishing gear, which was the most important, obviously and uh, forgot to pack all my shorts that I had stacked up ready to go. So I have no shorts. I gotta go to the store here in a little bit. That's why my day's kind of cut short. I gotta go do a couple, run a couple errands. All right, so I just seen a bass. He wasn't that big, but he just scurried away from this. Uh, I mean, I should have known it. You know, there's not much in this pond. There used to be a lot more. Um, there was a lot more bushes on the other side and even by our house over there. But there's this one plant right there in the water and right when I walked up onto, onto it it spooked not a big bass maybe just like a little one pounder maybe smaller but I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to get him out of there Nothing too major, but that's the uh, biggest bass of the trip so far. Not too bad, looks like a male. And they're looking like they've been spawning. Let's get back Little 
little smaller than that last one, but that thing was going crazy on bait out there. So that is not representing Florida very well, but another fish. That was crazy. So I, I saw that fish boil right there. And then right after that, he was just going crazy over baits. He's probably chasing a bunch of the bluegill baits or even bluegill in general. And then I tossed this thing over there and he smacked it. So I am pretty confident that if we do find a bigger one, they are gonna eat this and we're gonna get them in. So I just, I just spotted a little baby turtle cruising the bank. So I'm gonna try to get this in there and see if we can't see him. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but he was just a little, once he saw me, he just jetted. First turtle of the trip. There's a ton of turtles and lizards and iguanas and all kinds of coconuts on the ground right here. Ripe and ready to eat, I don't know, maybe not. Look at those things. So I'm seeing a lot of beds, which I'm guessing the bass have already spawned is what that's trying to tell me, maybe. I mean, they could all be little bluegill pads. So, so far, nothing but smaller bass. There is big bass in here, I know that. But uh, look, how, look how crazy the fins are on this guy. He's been beat up. They're definitely spawning or post-spawn. But another small one. Definitely a different fish because, uh, get that helgramite out of there. That helgramite's just smashing them. Anyway, different fish for sure. Doesn't have the tail thing, but same spot. So it's probably its mate. Another small one. I think I know what uh, is making these beds right here. And they're tilapia. And they're big tilapia. I see one right there. So yeah, Sage, when he was, I think, what were you like, two? Maybe two and a half. No, I don't think you were quite three. Anyway, he caught his first fish down here on this pond. He actually caught it down where those ducks are. I think it's a perfect day to uh, get Soren his first fish. Soren, look what you got. You got a ground like that. Look what you got, dude. It's huge. That's a little one. Chase it. Oh. Here, Soren. Want to show Mama? Want to show Mama? Mama behind you. Over here. Over here. Hi. Once he's done with it, I want to put it You got a fishy? Your first fish. That's your awesome. First, your first bass. You got your finger in his mouth? Yeah. Here, we gotta let him go though. You ready to let him go? I'll, I'll take him. We're gonna let him go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there Whoa. Good job, dude. You did it. Something, okay, so clearly by how skinny these male bass are, these bass in general are already spawned. Look at the back of this bass that Sage just caught. I mean, is that not the biggest notch out of a fish? And healed, it looks totally healed, you've ever seen. Holy cow, that thing is a tiny little wimp too. 
I'm gonna let it go. Here, I'll let you take it. Nope, grab my the lip. There's it. Little skinny bath. There it goes. There it goes. So I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. <laughs>